Hey, what's up, Mr. Skelmistic? In this video, I'm going to show you a secret trick for finding hidden Pokemon now that they have disabled the footprint tracking. And I do believe that what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this kind of story-wise rather than tutorial-wise. Tutorials are kind of dry and you got to do this, this, and this. No, I'm not like that. Let's tell a story and I'll tell you what we did and how we did it. And then I'll let you try it for yourself or I'll tell you to try it for yourself and see if it works. As of this date, or the date of this video, this trick still works. And I don't see any reason they would change it because it's not against the rules in any way, shape, or form. All right, so what happened was this. I had a YouTuber friend up visiting me from far away. And we decided while he was here, in the middle of the night, like 1 o'clock in the morning, to go Pokemon hunting. Now, I live in kind of a rural area, so there's not really a lot going on at all at 1 o'clock in the morning. If you're finding Pokemon, you're the only one finding Pokemon because it fails them a bit. So we got all our stuff set up and went out. Now, my friend has an iPhone 6. He just got it, so he didn't have any recording software down on it or anything else to be doing in this filming. I happen to have had my phone for a little while, and I love my phone, and it loves me, and I had everything I needed on it to record. But at the time, I was so dumbfounded, I didn't think to record what was going on with him. I didn't. But we've since gone through this and tested it out, and it does work. So we went out to hunt Pokemon, and for some reason, his iPhone 6 tripped out and it wouldn't load the game after a certain point. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it was his phone or the innumerable glitches in the Pokemon game system or what have you. But here we were out at 1 o'clock in the morning, walk around like zombies, and if you've ever been a Pokemon player, you know you've seen the people doing it. You've either seen or done the same thing, walk around glazed eyes staring at the phone screen. <laughs> walking like a zombie and you're like oh Bulbasaur or you're like uh, hot damn Dragonite <laughs> and you just suddenly wake up and run after the Dragonite anyhow his phone stopped working after like a little while of fooling with it and we didn't know what was wrong with it so he swapped back to his backup which was the phone that he did have before he got this one which is an iPhone 4 now, the iPhone 4 doesn't have an operating system sufficient to play Pokemon. It'll download the game and all that whatnot, but you can't really play on it. So what he did was he slaved his fifth generation iPod to his phone because that operating system will play the game, but it doesn't have GPS and all that other bit. Now, what ended up happening with this was, for some odd reason, his GPS worked with that system on his iPod, but his trainer was not locked into, you know how whenever you're, you're running along and the GPS, I mean, if it takes a step, the GPS knows it and your trainer takes a step. That wasn't what was happening with his setup. For some reason, his trainer was going here, there, yonder, willy-nilly. It would be two blocks over this way or a block over this way, visit the Nelsons for a cocktail, or <laughs> he'd be over there <laughs> a quarter of a mile picking daisies. It was just straight, he was straight on crack, that his trainer was. And what happened more often than not, see now on the, the, on the sightings bar, we still, we still had the same Pokemon. You know, Bulbasaur, Weedle, whatever else. We all, we all had the same ones in a line. But a lot of times, because his trainer wasn't really GPS locked to where he was at, it would find Pokemon that, that I couldn't find on my phone, even knowing that they were there. Because, well, the, my GPS was tracking correctly and it stayed in the road or in the streets where we were at while his trainer was wandering about the countryside just you know just having a grand old time a lot of times it would stumble across the Pokemon we were looking for and what would happen when we saw that we'd beat feet to where his trainer showed us where it was at and I get the Pokemon too so far this system has worked great I mean he uses he <laughs> After that, we tried it again a few times, and he kept up with his iPhone and iPod set up, and I kept up with mine, and he literally found more Pokemon than I did because his trainer was, while he was walking the streets, was going over here and over here and over there and over there, and I swear he was pulling them out of the grass. So this is the trick you want to try to see if it'll work for you. Get yourself an older uh, iPhone and an iPod and link them 
and run it like we did here. Because I think, I mean, especially you should, especially by the way, you should do this if you have a group of friends who all have modern phones, who aren't still in the Stone Age, and go out in a group with them. Because I think not only will you blow your not only will you blow their minds, but I think you might be the hero of the story for the day, because their GPSs will track perfectly and not do anything for them, and you'll keep finding them and tell them where they're at. Give this a shot. Let me know how it worked out for you. I hope that this secret trick helps you out as much as it's, as much as it's already helped me out, honestly. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good heart smash, and as well, subscribe and share because it's going to help me and the channel out. Until next time, this is Kelly Messick reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace! Hey, what's up, Mr. Skelmistic? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the evolution of Pokemon and how understanding when, where, and why to evolve your Pokemon will lead you to the best, toughest, and strongest Pokemon to have on your team.